All right, <clears throat> this is why you guys should always get eyes on the asset uh, that, that you're looking to to uh, purchase. Uh, either if it's in your state, your own back backyard, go out and take a look at it. Um, if not, please order a BPO, uh, or if you have somebody local, team up with them and have them go out and take a look at this. And um, I'm gonna have video probably playing either behind me or in front of me. I'm not sure yet how I wanna edit this, but uh, I'm I'm actually watching it. I just got back from um, from going out and looking at the uh, at the property. So I'm gonna go ahead and play the uh, the video. Uh, hang on a second. There we go. Oh, let me get rid of this. Okay. Um, as you can see, the the weeds it, it's pretty well overgrown, right? So that that whole right. I'm gonna pause this real quick. The whole right side um, is just it's just overgrown with weeds uh and it's doing damage to the uh, to the foundation with the trees and um uh, and the bushes and everything that that's coming up and um as you can see here the you know the the driveway um you know it, it's not in bad shape but it definitely needs to be uh repaired you know like asphalted and then you'll see uh some cracking there uh on on the uh, on the building And then the te the steps is, uh, sloped away. I mean, that's, that's not a big deal, right? But, um, you know, the yard has just a lot of cleanup. And the roof still looks like it's in pretty good shape. I'll pan around here. And um, so you can see that. But wait till you get to the backyard. This thing was just the inside. I couldn't get in, but I looked in that window there, and it is just floorboards were all torn up. I mean, it is just an absolute shit show. And so you have a, a pool here that's just um, completely, you know, I guess they, they filled it in. I, I'm not sure if there's dirt or debris in there. Um, so all of that's got to be, um, you know, filled in and the concrete taken away. Just, you know, turn that yard back into back into a yard, and then you just see debris all the way on the left hand side there it just it literally goes literally goes all the way back to the end of the property i mean this thing is just horrible on this on the outside and then you see, uh, on that um that addition there was some uh there was a lot of rot <clears throat> on that on that fascia board that that needs to be replaced and you can it's more so on the other side so and then, you know, I think this is kind of like where I stop it at, right about in here. Just, once again, that's the pool. And it was a driveway. Uh, it looks like they did away with the driveway to put a pool in the backyard. So uh, let's see. And then that's the little porch. Okay, so yes, yeah, so stop. Um, so just please always get eyes on the asset that you're looking to evaluate. Um, you know, Zillow has this thing at 250. There's no way. Um, the hedge fund that has it, I think they have a value of 200000 That's still way too high for this particular property on this road in this area. I was actually looking at one right up the street from it. Um, so, you know, I was just doing some some basic calculations. I You know, it, it's I think this has a square footage of uh, 1591, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, with rehabbing houses, you know, I, I always develop like a quick rule of thumb, is, you know, like, uh, what is this, like uh, $18 for light rehab, $27 for medium, and 53 or so uh, for heavy uh, rehab. And um, this thing is definitely, it has a lot of work that needs to be done. I have any, I just, like I said, I looked in that that window there. And those floorboards are all torn up. So, I mean, you can actually see the joists um, underneath. I, I don't know what they were doing in there. Um, but it, but, it's, but it's in pretty pretty bad shape. So, just doing a rough estimate, you, know, you take the square footage, multiply that, you know, by, I think I used $53, $52. And, um, and I use 75% of the value, just like holding costs and things like that. And then when I back out my, um, like if I wanted to wholesale this, um, I mean, honestly, if, if I could get this at the right price, I mean, I, I this would be one that I would be interested in uh, rehabbing and, you know, selling. But more than likely, uh, the play for me would be like if I if I could get it uh, for, you know, thirty five thousand dollars or so, thirty grand, 
um, then I would wholesale it uh, to another investor that would want to rehab it and add it to his portfolio or her por por portfolio uh, for rentals or Section 8s. Um, this property is close to uh, a mall, and it's just close to a lot of uh, amenities, really close to a, um, an expressway. So, you know, it does have a lot of good things going for it. But the bad thing is it's definitely run down, and, and what the – what the hedge fund is asking for, it, it makes absolutely no sense um, to offer that to them just because of the condition that it's – because if you get it 100 percent, you will have to foreclose on it. Um, and the amount of work for what they're asking, you would literally lose your ass on this, on this property. So, um, yeah, it's just – it's unfortunate. It, it's it, – you know, you see, I see this time and time again, and it's just, it's sad uh, to see properties like this go into disrepair. But um, anyway, I just want to show this to you, uh, you know, and once again, always get eyes on the asset that you're evaluating and just please just do the due diligence on it. All right. Hey, oh, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to, you know, ask me in the, um, the comment section or, uh, you know, shoot me a text or email or something. All my information will be at the end of this video. See ya.